Have you ever wondered what would happen if Earth was half water and half land? In the world we know, water covers approximately 71% of the Earth's surface. This vast blue expanse, stretching far beyond the horizon, plays a pivotal role in maintaining the Earth's climate. It acts as a giant heat sink, absorbing and distributing solar energy across the globe, thus moderating temperature extremes and fostering a myriad of diverse ecosystems. This 3 to 1 ratio of water to land is not just a random occurrence, it supports a rich tapestry of life from the smallest microorganisms in the deepest ocean trenches to the largest mammals roaming the vast plains. It has shaped human civilization guiding where we build our cities, how we travel, and even what we eat. So, the Earth as we know it is intricately tied to the 71 to 29 ratio of water to land. Now, imagine a world where this balance is drastically shifted, where land and water share equal parts of our planet. Or picture an Earth where land and water cover 50% each. A different world, isn't it? Now, let's delve into the theoretical changes this extraordinary shift would bring about. Firstly, our climate would undergo a significant transformation. The oceans, as we know them today, serve as immense heat and carbon dioxide sinks, moderating our planet's temperature. But with their size halved, their ability to absorb heat and carbon dioxide would also diminish drastically. This could lead to more extreme weather patterns worldwide and accelerate the pace of global warming posing severe threats to our survival. Next, this shift would likely result in a stark reduction in biodiversity. Our oceans are teeming with life, providing habitats for millions of species. Halving the water cover would inevitably lead to a decrease of these marine habitats, potentially pushing numerous species towards extinction. Finally, let's consider the impact on human civilization. More land could mean more space for habitation and agriculture. Yet, this comes with its own set of challenges. The distribution of resources could become more complex, and the need for environmental sustainability even more pressing. Our world as we know it would be fundamentally different, revealing the delicate balance that currently exists. It's a fascinating thought experiment, isn't it? But it also underscores the importance of preserving our planet's delicate equilibrium. After all, we only have one Earth, so, why does this matter? Why should we care about this hypothetical scenario? Well, delving into these what-ifs is more than just an intellectual exercise. It's a way to underscore the vital importance of the balance between land and water on our Earth. Our planet's equilibrium is a delicate dance, a masterpiece of nature, played out over billions of years. This balance shapes our climate, determines the spread of life, and even influences our cultures and civilizations. But we're disrupting this harmony with our actions. Human activities are causing sea levels to rise and land to disappear. It's not just about losing our homes. It's about destabilizing an intricate system that supports a multitude of life forms. Consider the biodiversity that thrives because of this balance. The diverse ecosystems, from the deepest ocean trenches to the highest mountain peaks, all owe their existence to this equilibrium. If we continue to tip the scales, we risk losing these ecosystems and the myriad species they harbor. Our survival, too, hinges on this balance. We rely on the land for food, shelter, and resources. We need the water for drinking, transportation, and again, food. If the scales tip too far one way or the other, our very way of life could change dramatically. As we see, the balance of land and water on our planet isn't just a fact, it's a necessity. It shapes our climate, our biodiversity, and our very existence.